What's up everybody, I'm Matt Gary, and in this episode of Coding with the Force, we're gonna find out what operators are in Apex and how and when you should use them. All right, everybody, welcome back to this Apex Masterclass tutorial series. Today, we are gonna go over what operators are in Apex and how and when you should use them. But before we get into that, make sure if you actually enjoy this video to like it, because when you do, it helps this video get out to more people just like yourself that wanna learn this stuff for free. So if you enjoy it, like it, and that way everybody out there can benefit too. That's it, let's get back to the video. So first things first, what are operators? Um, basically, there are ways to either assign a value to variables, add values to variables, shift bits in variables, make equal or equivalencies or <laughs> uh, between val uh, variables, uh, evaluate them, all these different types of things. So if you look at them, you can see here a list of all the, ex what, what are referred to as expression operators in Salesforce. And uh, you can see a handful of them right off the bat uh, are doing what I was kind of describing. So you've got your equals operator, x equals y, and it's referred to as the assignment operator, and it assigns the value of y to the value of x. So x becomes y, essentially, with this operator. And if you come down here, you've got this plus equals operator, and it's called the addition assignment operator, and essentially, you've got x plus equals y, which means that <clears throat> it adds the value of y to the original value of x. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single one of these operators because, quite frankly, most of them you're not even gonna use uh, or you're not going to often use, but I will go through a handful of the more important ones and explain them to you in Apex. We'll do that together. So let's go check it out. If you want to see all of these expression operators, I will put it in the note notes and you can go through each and every one so you can be familiar with them all. What I will say is if you're looking at these, a handful of them you're almost never going to use. There are some extreme circumstances where maybe you're going to use them, but I'll say I've never needed to. Like bitwise operators um, or the or assignment and and assignment operator. You can use these, but uh, I don't often, right? Uh, and there's a couple others like exact equality operator in, in Apex. You will rarely use this. Occasionally you need to, but very rarely. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over some of the more important ones, some of the, the ones that you're gonna see uh, most common and uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, together, right? So let's open up um, <clears throat> our IDE, whatever your IDE of choice is. Earlier in the series, I showed you how to set each and every, uh, you know, the two major ones up. I'm going to be using uh, IntelliJ and Illuminated Cloud 2, but feel free to use whatever IDE you'd prefer. And I am going to go on ahead and create a new Apex class and we'll call it operators example. Cool, 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 cool. So <clears throat> here we go. First thing that we're gonna do is create a method. Again, we've done this together earlier in this series. So if you don't know what a method is, definitely go check it out. And we're just gonna create a void a method called, um, you know, I don't know, operator examples, keeping it nice and simple. And we are going to do a handful of operators together just so we can see how they work, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is create an integer called, um, I don't know, value one, and we'll give it a value of, uh, I don't know, sure, one. And integer value two, and we'll give it a value of two. And as you can see, we've already used one operator here, the equality operator. We're saying 
we want this integer to be equal to a value of 1 and this one to be 2, right? So we're using that equality operator right off the bat. And the next thing that we can do is say uh, a, a couple different things, right? We'll say value 1 equal or plus plus and we'll say value 2 minus minus and then we will output both of these into a debug and we'll say this is value 1 maybe and we'll type that in there and then we'll say this is value 2 like so. So we'll figure out after we use this plus plus and minus minus operator what we end up with so that we can kind of see how these operators work. This is supposed to increment our value by 1 so we should see value 1 essentially plus 1 which would end up making this 2 and this one is a decrement operator minus minus so what you should see is this value go down by 1 over here so let's check it out and see what happens alright and I'm gonna open up my apex anonymous window so that I can instantiate this class and run the code so we're gonna say operator example op example equals new operators example and then we'll say op example dot this method right we're gonna essentially just call this method um, make sure I actually save this because I wasn't paying attention there we go and I'm gonna run this now and I have done something wrong operators example Uh, let's run this one more time. Okay. Well, every once in a while, Salesforce just surprises you. Okay, so you can see that we did indeed do what we um, anticipated doing. So this dot value uh, one ended up being two, right? Because we increment, we use the uh, increment operator to increment its value by one, that plus plus. And we use the decrement op uh, operator on value 2 to get it, you know, down to 1. So we've got a 2 and a 1 now, right? Which is pretty cool. These increment and decrement operators you will use relatively frequently, so it is important to know about their existence and what they do. Um, another operator that, or a uh, set of operators that you're going to do, or going to leverage pretty often, are... Um, less than, equal to, um, and a handful of other things. So let's go through um, a couple of important operators here. So we haven't gone over what if statements are yet, but we will pretty soon. I believe they're in the next um, handful of episodes here. So we'll go over what if statements are soon, but it's important to know what's going to be inside these statements and how they work. So we're basically saying here, if something within these parentheses is true, then execute the code in this block below. And so what we're going to do here is say, you know, if value 1 equals equals 2 and value 2 is less than or equal to um, 2, then enter into this block right and I'm going to explain all of what I just wrote here in just one second because we just used several operators right um, we got in the block if block okay so what we're doing here is we're saying if value 1 is equal to 2 so again this is equal sign assigns a value, a single equal sign operator assigns a value to a variable. This one determines whether or not 
the value of this variable is actually equal to whatever's on the other side. So value one is equal to two. Is it or is it not? That's what we're deciding here. And then we're saying, and if value two is less than or equal to two, right? So this kind of concatenates these two statements together, this and sign. So this and sign is basically making it so that both this and this have to be true for us to get inside this if statement block, right? And this um, <clears throat> uh, less than or equals to operator is saying if value two is less than or equal to two, then we're good to go, right? So we're just evaluating whether something is less than or equal to or whether this one is equal to a value. So if we save this, and we run it, we got in the block because those statements are indeed true, right? Um, <clears throat> there's one other operator that you are gonna use all the time, which is this or operator. So this one, instead of saying this side has to be true and this side has to be true, it's saying this side can be true or this side can be true, and we'll get into this block here, right? So if we save this and we run it again, well, well it didn't finish saving, so I should probably give it the time to save, uh, which you probably can't see down here, but it's thinking about it. And we run it again, we still got in the block because in this case, both statements are true, but let's say we wanted less than or equal to zero, right? We know that value two is gonna end up being one. It's not gonna be zero. So if it was an and statement, we wouldn't get in there. But because it's an or statement, we, we do get in. And we can just change that to see how that differs. Again, this is if this one or this one is equal, or, or it ends up being uh, true, then we go into the block. And this one is if this statement here, value equals two, and this one, value two is equal to, uh, or less than or equal to zero. If we save this and run it again, we'll see that we don't get in the block because we don't match both of those statements. And see, so you can see then it, there's no debug value down here that states that we got into that block. Okay, now there is one other operator that you will see relatively frequently that can confuse an enormous amount of people, and that is the ternary operator. So this is basically a shorthand if else statement, and I'm gonna do a whole episode on ternary operators later, because I think it's important that you understand what this operator means, but I think you really need more information about the if statements before you, uh, you know, how if else statements work, or if blocks work. Uh, before you get into ternary operators. Otherwise, they're ultra confusing, but you will see this used pretty frequently. Um, yeah, those are the major operators that you'll find. You'll also see just regular less than signs, regular greater than signs um, in any variety. The one other one that is worth mentioning is not equal to. So you see we have this uh, equals equals, which means if value one actually equals the value two, then we're good to go. But alternatively, there is not equals, this not equals operator. So if value two does not equal zero, then we're good, right? That's what this is saying here. If value one does not equal zero, you know, then this will evaluate to true and we can get within the block. So this operator tests for non-equivalencies, essentially. And that is, um, those are the major operators that you're gonna use day to day, aside from adding and subtracting and multiplying and division. Uh, these ones, of course, will be around too. But those are the big ones, and they give you kind of a basis, a baseline of what you're gonna expect with operators and how to use them. Again. I'd love to go through every single one of these operators with you, but it would take far too long. 
Um, if you want to go through each one and check them out, I'll give you this list in the notes and you can check every single one of them out and try them out for yourself. But I did at least want to give you a little bit of an intro here to see how they worked and where you theoretically use them um, and what I mean by operators when we go through um, the rest of this course together, right? So there you go. That's what operators are. There's tons more to look at, but if we went through every single one, this would be probably an hour long episode. And um, yeah, we'll get through the vast majority of them throughout the rest of this series. So, all right, guys, hopefully that was helpful. Um, and hopefully you'll stick with me for the rest of this tutorial series. There's tons more uh, to learn here. Um, yeah, so stick around and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.